This is the 2021 Lincoln Corsair, but this is not any Corsair. This is the Grand Touring, which means it's an all-wheel drive plug-in hybrid. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of this vehicle's capabilities, look at some cool features, and take you to the interior and exterior. It's hard to differentiate the Grand Touring from a standard Corsair. Nowhere on the vehicle are you going to see a big EV badge or a plug-in hybrid badge. It's more subtle than that. You've got a little bit of blue here in the front in the Lincoln logo, as well as on the side in the Corsair badge. This is the business end of the Corsair Grand Touring because this is where you charge up the plug-in hybrid system. Now right here you'll find your standard J1772 plug. You can charge it at level one or level two and this will feed a 14.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now in the front you'll find a 2.5 four-cylinder Atkinson cycle engine. And in the rear, you'll find a set of electric motors, but there's no physical drive shaft or prop shaft between the front and the rear. It's a lot like the Toyota or Lexus systems. Now, Lincoln says that the total system output is 266 horsepower. The coolest design element on this Corsair has to be this rear light bar that extends across the entire width of the vehicle. In fact, the entire taillight assembly in this car is just so unique. I love these little design accents that kind of spiral out from the center. It's just a really good looking butt. One of the cool things about the Corsair Grand Touring is you don't lose any cargo capacity by opting for the hybrid model. So in other hybrids, you may lose some trunk space with batteries intruding into this area, but in the Grand Touring, all the batteries live underneath the floor. The interior of the Grand Touring Corsair is a really premium place. We've got leather over just about everything. Nice wood here across the dash, a lot of piano black finish, and we even have the classic Lincoln push button transmission that's becoming more and more ubiquitous. It's kind of like a little baby navigator in here. One of the cooler features is actually the instrument cluster, which is fully digital, and the vehicle does include several different drive modes. The Grand Touring gets two specific drive modes, Preserve EV, which will actually charge up the battery as you drive along, and full electric mode, which allows you to run this vehicle on nothing but electricity. The seats in the Corsair are surprisingly supportive, and I think I could spend a decent amount of time in here and not be uncomfortable. But one of the funny things is actually the way the bolstering works. Now, I like the bottom cushion bolstering for your thigh support, but like many other Lincolns, the Corsair allows you to move them individually. So your left leg could be fully bolstered while your right leg has no support at all. Like, why would you want that? I'm, I'm trying to think of a situation in which I want one leg significantly more supported than the other. Well, climbing into the rear seats, I'm actually surprised by the amount of legroom. For being such a small crossover, I have plenty of space, even with me being about six feet, one inch tall, and even headroom. So this car has got a full panoramic sunroof, and they're not having any issues with total height. So a very decent amount of space back in the rear, and you'll even find a couple of USB ports and your AC 110 volt outlet. This is now the very smallest crossover in the Lincoln lineup, and it would compete with something like a Lexus UX, maybe an Audi Q3. It is a very compact vehicle. Lincoln hasn't officially announced pricing on this 2021 Corsair Grand Touring, but they did say it's going to cost about $50,000. Now the Corsair lineup starts on the low end at 36, and the gas models can go all the way up to 58 grand. So the Grand Touring here is definitely more on the top end of the pricing structure. Lincoln says this Corsair Grand Touring will go on sale in summer of 2020 as a 2021 model year. Now, there's a lot we don't know. We still don't know the exact pricing details and we don't know the EPA fuel economy, but Lincoln did tell us that they're projecting 25 plus miles on all electric range. Now head over to tflcar.com for the latest and greatest in LA Auto Show coverage because we've got a lot more going on in the coming days.